I met Mike in 10th grade singing Christmas carols with two other nice Jewish kids from the Bronx, um, Bonnie Abrams and Bobby Meltzer and Mike Katz and Linda Gritz, four of us uh, getting together in, uh, in Bobby's basement and singing Christmas carols for hours. And at some point, we all realized we're all Jewish. And at some point, we realized we all knew the Hanukkah songs and even the Yiddish Hanukkah songs. So we switched right over and sang Hanukkah songs for, for hours. So I didn't really know Mike at the time. He was a good friend of, of um, Bobby's. And I knew Bobby and um, Bonnie from biology class, from 10th grade biology. And Mike was a good friend of another good friend, Ruth, Ruth Parker. I remember at the end of the year, so I, I knew Mike, so now I knew him at least to, to see him. We were in the same grade and at Bronx High School of Science and uh, didn't have any classes together and didn't really see each other, but I, at least I knew who he was. And he was a good friend of my friend Ruth's. And towards the end of the year, our social studies classes, I guess we had social studies at the same time, um, the two classes came together to watch a film about something about social studies. And my friend Ruth and I were sitting in our chairs in our class, and Mike's class came along, and he sat down between us. And we watched the movie, and his class goes back to their room. And it's the end of the, the period, and I get up, and I realize that my chain belt, back then kind of these little chain link belts were in, in fashion, I was chained to my chair. And I realized, I figured out exactly what had happened. Because even though I didn't know Mike well, I knew him well enough to be able to say, Ruth, get your friend Mike back in here and unlock this chair. <laughs> Turns out he had cleaned out his gym locker and was sitting there with a master's lock, just playing with it while watching this apparently boring film and didn't know what to do with himself and do with it and saw this chain and saw this chair and could not resist. And maybe he liked me, I don't know. He never said anything, but he came back and, and unlocked the, the lock. And we became more friends uh, through 11th grade. And then in 12th grade, we actually went out for a couple of months, for about six months, um, until the bum broke up with me. So we went our separate ways. I think maybe in various uh, times when friends got together, we saw each other once or twice, like a New Year's Eve party or, or other things. but. Uh, Maybe, uh, I don't think I saw him after sophomore year of college, but um, after we graduated, so six years after we graduated high school, our good friend Ruth of back in 10th grade social studies fame um, got married and invited some of her friends back to come to her wedding. And Mike and I arrived separately and left together. <laughs>